Well, Rob, it is certainly a top concern for local and state leaders who joined protesters earlier today. They're concerned that once the target behind me closes, that the abandoned lot will attract more crime to this area. As these Black Friday shoppers lined up for a holiday deals, another line formed outside this Southside Target. Not another cent! Not another cent! Ever since Target announced it would be shutting down its Chatham and Morgan Park locations on Chicago's South Side, protesters have set up picket lines in hopes of changing the retailer's mind. But today, Ain't no purchases today. Let's shut them down. these protesters asked shoppers not to give any more money to the corporation. We know that they're going to close the store. But they're not going to close the store without a consequence. Protesters were able to convince a few shoppers not to go inside the Chatham Target. Some even joined their protest while others left in discomfort. He's a very convincing guy. <laughs> he seemed passionate, so, you know, yeah, I took him serious. We feel uncomfortable right now, so, hey, we forced to go somewhere else, even though, hey, we need a TV. It's Black Friday. Come on, guys. What's going on? What's really going on? There's bigger issues out here. The retailer attributed the shutdown to years of decline and underperformance, but local leaders say closing the stores will hurt consumers more than the company's bottom line. Target provides fresh food. There's a pharmacy here. It's the anchor of the shopping center. What makes this worse for protesters, they say, is that Target is planning to open more locations in the city's north side, calling the shutdown a, quote, divestment in African-American communities. Reporting live in the Chatham neighborhood, Kate Cogier and ABC7 Eyewitness News. Rob, back to you. Okay. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.